So we're going to have to get creative when we think about new ways to address the return because we're going to be addressing people's sense of safety in other ways. In addition to RG, we also are going to be looking at issues of personal safety. There's been a lot of media coverage, especially in, in jurisdictions where they have large gaming centers um, localized like Las Vegas, for example. Um, employees being concerned about reopening, being reluctant to approach people. And we know from the research in promoting responsible gambling on the gaming floor that uh, staff feel like they have the knowledge often to approach a customer, interact with a customer, but they often are reluctant to for multiple reasons. You know, sometimes it can be delicate interactions. In interacting with Doug, I'm sure, is not the easiest thing to do. Um, so in this particular time, there's that overlay of uncertainty in the uncertainty of the virus is something that we really need to pay attention to. So we'll have to, people need to feel safe in order, staff need to feel safe in order to do this. So you were talking about training like PlaySmart, game, game uh, sense, PlayWise type of staff, but also for frontline staff, it's gonna be really important for them to feel like they have a sense of safety so that they know that if they interact with a customer that not only about the RG sense of things, but in terms of the virus, that there's that they 